How long? <coughs> to die? We are outside. Let the sun shine. All right. So today, here's what we're doing. We're taking all. <laughs> now you're in the frame. Boom. It's all that's in the frame. <laughs> I'm covered in sawdust and it's really bright out here. Right. So today we are taking all the shelves down and we are going to route the edges. Say hello to my little friend. So what we have to do is we have the bit on here that's for the OG edge and it's a router. So we're going to route. And then we gotta sand everything down and then stain it. And here's what it looks like when we stain it. I will show you in here. Ooh, this has actually two coats on it. So that'll be the final coat. It looks really great. And when we get it up on the wall, it looks so good. So we will show you assembly once we get it done. Here we go. This is the face of despair. Despair. And being wrong a little. So. <laughs> being completely wrong. And being told that I was completely and wrong and fighting about it because about it. I was mean about it. But so here's what happened. It was a simple mistake. It was a, it was a so. complete utter <laughs> failure. And nobody else caught it neither. Well, uh, uh, well why would I? Why would I question your perfect work? <laughs> so, what we have to do when we take the things off of the wall is mark them in the way that we know which side to OG and edge. Because they do have a side. Because they do have a side. And a top and a bottom. So unfortunately, what I did when I took it down was I turned it, flipped it over and, and backwards. I said, oh God, did you mark that? Because it looked like it was wrong. <laughs> and I got yelled at. I said, yeah, I marked it. <laughs> so, what I did was I made sure that I marked the side pointing up that had the, uh, where we had cut the holes out because we had a little mark on there. Except, I cut it on, I put it on the wrong side. So, anyway, we have to redo one shelf, but, I, but we had extra wood because we had got extra wood. So, that's the good news. So here we go. So, today. This is what you look like when you have too many paint jeans. Ooh, we're exhausted. <laughs> so, we are painting <laughs> the cabinets, but I wanted to show you the result of the shelves. Not totally done yet. They're pretty close. They're up. They're up. They're up, they need some touch-ups. But, we have been on hiatus. Not really, but. <laughs> I we wish! <laughs> we haven't been filming things that are just doing the same thing over, over and, and over and over again. Over again. So, but now we're driving from the Home Depot. Lowe's. Lowe's, damn, I always do that. It's the Lowe's that we went to. The, the Lowe's. Lowe's. Like the Facebook. I still like might have on some mascara Facebook. on. Um, it's Friday morning. It's Good Friday. It Happy Easter almost. Every Friday is a Good Friday. Um, but, so we have acquired our materials for today. The next step is we have, we'll show you. We've set all of our cabinets. Um, they're not like affixed to the wall and secured yet, but we've set the placement. And what we have to do now is pull the island back off and set the cleats for the island so that it can be secured and then plumb in the drain line and the two um, supply water supply lines for the sink and the gas line which is potentially a weapon of mass destruction and here no, in the Midwest normally I would say boom but I'm not gonna say boom because I hope that we don't boom boom <laughs> no <laughs> boom boom so but we're they have are, a kit and hopefully with the kit we should be okay because it looks like it you know as long as all the seals get tight and all that stuff and we've got pipe wrenches galore so and it comes with stuff to check for leaks which right. is good even though you it's can good. smell it it does come with stuff that checks yeah, for leaks. so you can check and you know put it around the seals and stuff and make sure that there's no bubbles that's how you know so hopefully we don't blow the house up Boom. that's what we're going to do now after we get done driving home yeah. with all of our booty
Phase one, done. So, what we had to do first was take off this nipple. Scary black pipe. Scary black pipe. We've turned the whole house gas supply off. Anything that could use gas is turned off. So what you have just seen is a curious case of, can we read the directions? <laughs> so, we're trying to read the directions. And there are a lot of them. So, <laughs> there, are a lot. there are a lot of them. They want to make sure that you do not blow your house up. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're working on reading the directions first. <clears throat> Always read the directions first. So, in our attempt to work ahead, we have discovered that we are behind. <laughs> because we tried to go ahead and get this part here fixed with the nipple coming out that has to go into this bushing that goes into our pipe. And the reason why we have to have all this stuff is because our pipe is three quarter inch that was the lead pipe. And now the, uh, the line that we're putting in is only a half inch. Um, and that's all that... So, I put baby in a corner, right here. So, as you can see, over there next to the wall, we have got the pipe coming through the floor. That is a floor flange support that um, screws into the hardwood floor. And then all of this ends up tucking back up underneath the uh, stove. So we've got a cutoff right there that came with a kit or whatever, and then we had before had a three quarter inch supply that we had to reduce down, but the um, into the stove goes a half inch, which you can see Tony doing right now. And that okay, so scary part is over hopefully. We turned all the gas back on and the little kit said that they, there was plenty of uh, there was a little oil in the kit so you can put it around all the stuff so you could see if any oil was bubbling out nothing was bubbling out we're hooking up the stove see hooking up the stove and then we can have a meal <laughs> which is probably the best part can't clean no dishes yet but we can still have a meal um, so we turned the furnace back on. I lit the pilot light in the um, hot water heater and it didn't blow anything up and we don't smell gas in the house. So I think we're good. Well, I think we did it. And So now we have um, we have a working stove. Now all we need to have is um, working countertops and a working sink. But um, we are truly we on were, our way. But we were really scared about that part. So yeah, it's it was done. A, we didn't blow the house up. That's yes. the most important part. <laughs> yes.